Topic number two, modern antisepsis, types of antisepsis, antiseptics and the way of use. Lecturer Shevchenko Alexander, Baltic Federal University, Medical Institute, Kaliningrad 2020. First of all, antisepsis. Antisepsis, it is destruction of disease causing microorganism to prevent infection or kill microorganism in the wound of or body. Look precisely on this picture and uh, you must see which uh, year this nurse or doctor made. I give you 10 seconds to think about it. Okay, if you look precisely on this picture, you must understand what this nurse or doctor do, doing wrong. First of all, never touch the surface or skin which not was treated with antiseptics. As you see this hand, touch the parts of the skin which not be uh, uh, which wasn't uh, treated with antiseptics. It means when we uh, use, uh, when we doing some procedure or operation, we have wound and touch this uh, hand to the wound or the puncture side, we contaminated this wound. So we broke the basics of medicine the first law of medicine do no harm if you want to be a good doctor you must think about it all the time so we have four major types of antisepsis mechanical physical chemical and biological antisepsis when you will be on exam you must understand that first of all uh, what lecturer ask you its definition of this uh, simple methods. When we uh, talk about mechanical antisepsis, we must understand. Mecha mechanical antisepsis means uh, we use some debridement from the wound. We clean wound from the trash. When we use physical antisepsis, we use physical laws to prevent infection to grow into the, this wound. Chemical antisepsis, most of the time we understand under chemical antisepsis use something chemical solutions which can kill microbes into the wound. And when we talk about biological antisepsis, we uh, talk about compounds which have natural region. We can insert them into the body to heal or stop growing the bacteria. If we talk about mechanical antisepsis specifically, it is mechanical elimination of microorganism from wound. This type of antisepsis contains three parts: toilet of the wound, primary debridement, and secondary debridement. First of all, you must not be confused with the word of toilet because when we say toilet it's traditional word for this uh, definition so when we say toilet we mean that we clean the wound from the trash uh, most of the time we used uh, for this uh, some gauze and uh, antiseptics some chemical compounds some liquid okay maybe just saline Toilet of the wound means cleaning of the wound and about all these parts we will talk further. Toilet of the wound include mechanical elimination trash from the wound. When we provide this step of cleaning we use antiseptics. So if we want to be precise in definitions, toilet of the wound it is a part of mixed antisepsis. If we use two, three or all types of antisepsis, we must call it mixed 
okay so next step of mechanical antisepsis is primary debridement primary debridement includes the elimination of blood clots excision of the non-viable wound wall during this part of mechanical antiseptic antiseptics we can put drain into the wound if we need to do so. Drainage is part of physical antiseptics, so we will discuss this further. Secondary debridement. I can say this is the next step, but if we have infection complication of the wound, we use secondary debridement. Secondary debridement, it includes excision of the necrotized wound wall, elimination of pus from the wound. So we can say that this type of mechanical antisepsis is directed to infection complications of the wound. It's a major in this definition. If you remember this part of this definition, you will answer con correctly on, the, on your exam. In this case, we use a drain often to prevent further infection, because the closed wound is the optimal environment for the microorganism growth. In latin, ubi, <coughs> in latin uh, times, uh, doctors understand if we have pus uh, in the wound, we must excise this wound uh, to let the uh, pure and containing of the wound go out of the wound or it never 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 healed correctly next physical antisepsis it is a type of antisepsis which rely on physical principles of several physical laws capillarity hygroscopy communicating vessels diffusion osmosis and ultrasound effects like cavitation laser effects so we must talk about some physics here or we didn't understand about we talk capillary action is the ability of a liquid to flow in narrow spaces without the assistance of or even in opposition to external forces like gravity. The effect can be seen in the drawing up of liquid between the hairs of paintbrush. In a thin tube, in porous materials such as a paper or pl and plaster, so important for us. In some non-porous materials such as sand and liquefied carbon fiber or in a biological cell, it occurs because of intermolecular forces between the liquid and surrounding solid surfaces. If the diameter of the tube is sufficiently small, then the combination of surface tension, which is caused by cohesion with, within the liquid, and adhesive forces between the liquid and container will act to propel the liquid. Hygroscopy is the phenomenon of attracting and holding water molecules via either absorption or adsorption from the surrounding environment, environment, which is usually at thermal or room temperature. If water molecules become suspended among the substance molecules, absorbent substances can become physically changed. Example gradual changing in volume, boiling point, viscosity, or some of the physical characteristics or property of the substance. Uh, what is important for us? It's attracting and holding of water molecules. As we see in these uh, pictures, we put some gauze into the wound, and when we do so, we expect that uh, our gauze attracting and holding water molecules, so we can keep the wound clean and dry. Communicating vessels is a system of containers filled with a homogeneous fluid connected at the base and subjected to the same atmospheric pressure. When the liquid settles, it balances out to the same level in all the containers regardless of their shape and volume. If additional liquid is added to one vessel, a new equal level will be established in all the connected two vessels. As we see in this picture, we have 
so many different uh, shapes but it doesn't matter what shape we have we have connected tubes on their base and level of the water in this base not water any liquid okay any liquid uh, which have the same viscosity okay it must be homogeneous fluid uh, we have the same level it doesn't matter what the shape it's principle that uh, provides a drain diffusion diffusion is the net movement of anything for example atom ion molecules from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration diffusion is driven by a gradient of concentration uh, if we add some dye into the water we we, uh, we saw we will see then that water uh, become covered by the dye so we see something was added to this water or any liquid and uh, part of this solute dissolve in this solution osmosis is the spontaneous net movement of the solvent molecules through a selectively permeable membrane into a region of a higher solute concentration in the direction that tends to equalize the solute concentration on the two sides. So we have semi-permeable membrane and that semi-permeable uh, membrane <coughs> uh, cannot be uh, permeable for these solvent molecules so liquid goes to the part of the vessel opposite side of the vessels we have on this part is more concentrated solution so water try to make it less concentrated and now concentration is this part is more likely equal next part of the uh, mechanical and uh, partly physical uh, antiseptics it's a drain a drain is a tube or rubber band used to remove both blood or either or other fluids or gases from a wound cavity uh, it's correct definition but sometimes we use gauze uh, to remove pus, pus uh, blood or other fluids uh, from body cavity there are several types of drains active passive and flow washing there are the principle used these are pr the principle used Enhanced drainage from wounds and post from abscesses and MPMs facilitate flow to the outside into a dressing or a special container. Wounds can be drained by using vinyl chloride tubes or different diameters which are placed in the wounds, abscess cavities, joints, pleural abdominal cavity. The pus and microorganism are discharged throughout one of several drains. Chemical antiseptics can be inserted through the drainage into the wound or cavity. Can be, but don't do this most of the times. Uh, one, uh, one case when you use chemical antiseptics inserted in the drainage when we have whole washing uh, drain. Okay. In another, in another time you cannot use it to provide a more effective wash out of wounds and purulent cavities apart from the drainage tube another tube can be placed throughout which antibacterial agents can be given and pus and blood and fibrin are discharged combination of physical and chemical antisepsis results in continuous irrigation drainage Protolytic enzymes and used as a washing solution which promote lysis of non-viable tissues 
pus and fibrin. Uh, maybe you you won't know, but we have uh, such definition as bi biofilm. It's very important for surgery because we, when we have any wound on the surfaces of our body or in the body cavity, uh, we have fungi and bacteria that uh, make some extracellular matrix and it's, it's uh, very uh, dense so our antiseptics or antibiotics can go through the biofilm to reach bacteria or uh, fungi and we use proteolytic enzymes to dissolve this biofilm and our antiseptics and uh, antibiotics can reach bacteria or uh, fungi and kill them. If the draining cavity is sealed, sutured wound, pleuron, PMA, purant, arthritis, active aspiration of vacuum drainage can be used. Negative pressure is the system can be reached with vacuum aspiration. This is known to be the most effective way of drainage. It is also helps reduce the size of the wound cavity and the cause fast obliteration and removal of infection and facilitates expansion of the lung collapsed as a result of the pressure exudates in pleural impiema. Here we see Jackson Prey drain. This is active aspiration drain. It's most of the uh, best drains. Uh, because vacuum aspiration uh, provide it uh, provide um, dry wound and it's more easily healed. So we must connect this tube to the wound or body cavity where we want to place it, and that we must uh, press to the apple of the Jackson Pratt drain so we, it will be collapsed and connected these tubes. When we can collect it with tubes, apple is try to uh, be more wide in the volume, so it's uh, become uh, so it starts vacuum aspiration. Next, Penrose drain. Penrose drain it's a passive drain. We have uh, that type suture here where placed the Penrose drain. It's soft uh, drain which can passively help out helping a liquid to uh, go out of the wound to the dressings in this case. Don't look at, at this picture, please. It's uh, just active drain uh, like, like uh, Penrose. We interested on the on this picture is collection uh, drain, and uh, in this picture we have wound which which sealed with the sutures, okay, and here we have a bottle with saline or antiseptics, which connected with the tube with the wound cavity. And we have another tube which connected with the bottle which collected uh, all what we have washed out from the wound. So physical antisepsis. It is a type of antiseptic that use physical methods to kill microorganisms in the wound. These methods we use in, in physical antiseptics, drying, tamponing, vacuum aspiration, vacuum therapy, pulsing liquid jet treatment, ultraviolet uh, radiation, laser radiation, ultrasonic cavitation, hyperbaric oxygenation, ozone therapy. So we he, he, here we have drying of the wound with a light uh, so, uh, if we have here ultraviolet lamp, lamp we have another, mm -hmm, another activity on the wound. Uh, here we have 
vacuum aspiration of the wound, so we have uh, negative pressure on the wound, and uh, when we have negative pressure, uh, this part of the wound can be more oxygenated because uh, it's sucking blood to the part of the wound. Uh, next type of uh, antisepsis it's chemical antisepsis. When we talk about chemical antisepsis, most of the time we talk about compounds, synthetic compounds, which can kill bacteria in the wound or fungi in the wound. So, synthetic antibacterial agents are used to combat bacterial infection in the wound. Uh, here we have most of the time used antisepsis, antiseptics, betadine and uh, for hexodyne. It can be uh, spray like on the middle antiseptic. Classification of antiseptics. First, it's derivates of nitrofuran, furosaline and furangin. It uh, have yellow color. Furangin can use orally. We have acid group of antiseptics. Uh, first of all, antiseptics was uh, carbolic acid. We don't use it because it's uh, teratogenic and oncogenic. So we don't want to have these diseases in our practice. Uh, and sometimes we use boric acid, but not most, not often. Oxidants. So we have hydrogen peroxide and potassium permanganate. Hydrogen peroxide have chemical formula of two atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of oxygen. Uh, we have part of body cell called peroxisome uh, uh, which used hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide to kill uh, some bacteria or um, destroyed part of the um, cell body. So we have another uh, oxidant. Potassium permanganate have chemical formula of molecule is one atom of kalium, one atom of magnium, and four atoms of uh, oxygen. Detergents it's horhexidine and dioxidine. Alcohols. We use ethanol, and uh, which percent solution do we have to use? It's question for you. You must understand why I'm asking this. If we have ethanol of the 96% or 70% to treat the skin. It's no matter uh, you treat the skin of the hand before your surgical hand washing or treat of the skin before operation. Correct answer is 70%, not 96 But why? Because you must thought about osmosis. And uh, if you have more concentrated ethanol, we pickled, pickled our skin. Why this is important? Because our skin have pores. Uh, we have derivates of skin. It's uh, hair follicles. Uh, and in these pores, when, uh, where we contain hair follicles, uh, we have some bacteria. And when we use 70% uh, ethanol, this ethanol can reach these pores. But, but when we use 96%, pores is shrinking. Uh, we pickled skin of the patient or our uh, uh, hands 
when we use surgical washing of the hand and uh, our antiseptic cannot reach these pores but we have many bacteria here and with time action of this ethanol is completed and pores become so largely opened and bacteria which grow in this follicle go outside and we have complication infection complication of the wound next compound chemical compound it's povidone iodine pvpi or betadine in russian it's most often used uh, antiseptic next it's topical chemotherapy topical chemotherapy uh, it's application of antisepsis to dressing materials for wounds beyond uh, these materials in the form of solution used to wash the wounds during dressing soaking the dressing packs as well as in the form of creams and powders b application of antibacterial solution directly into the wound closure of the cavity with subsequent aspiration through a drain, washing, leaking drainage, combination of physical and chemical types of antisepsis. Example of combined use of physical and chemical antisepsis are peritoneal dialysis for purulent peritonitis, leaking drainage of pleural cavity in purulent pleuritis. Infiltration of focus of inflammation with antibacterial solutions to combat local infection. Systemic chemotherapy includes first oral use of an antibacterial agents, tablets of furagin, sulfur, lonectin, and vera lonectin sulfonidomides, sulfadimethoxine, sulfalen, which act topically on gastrointestinal microorganisms. This is part of perioperative workup for patients with impairing intestinal surgery. Absorbed into the bloodstream, these drugs also act on the body systemically after they have been absorbed into the bloodstream. Biological antisepsis. It is a method of antiseptics which use uh, biological compounds that have a natural origin. <laughs> Maybe you see these green patches and you ask why I added this because it's a straight name uh, I hide for you because I don't want you to uh, remember the trade name. So, what we have here? We have mold, and this mold produce our natural origin compounds. Uh, this is exactly penicillin mode. On this slide you can see uh, petri dish in which Alexander Fleming grow his mode of penicillin. And uh, this dish can, mm, we can say, first step to the antibiotics in our world. It was uh, our human world, not fungi world, okay? <laughs> because fungus uh, make them for billions of years. So, exactly this petri dish was sold in the United K uh, Kingdom for the 16,000 and 600 dollars. So you can uh, imagine the value of this explore types of biological antisepsis first antibiotics second proteolytic enzymes and third immune compounds antibiotics um, now we cannot say that it's only natural origin most of the time we have synthesized uh, chemically antibiotics but uh, at first as we see on the previous slide it's made from mold uh, proteolytic enzymes uh, have natural 
uh, origin and the immune components to have natural origin. Uh, indication for use of antibiotics. Uh, you may be confused why not so many indications for use of antibiotics. And if you open your book of uh, pharmacology, you can saw so many indications and you will be confused. But we surgeon, we must make it simple and we must use bacterial in, uh, we must use antibiotics only in two indications. First, bacterial infection infections caused by sensitive microorganism and second prophylaxis of bacterial infection during surgical operation first bacterial infection caused by sensitive microorganism we must use our antibiotics only in case of bacterial infections uh, many people not doctors when they have Sore throat, sore throat uh, think about hmm, I can use antibiotics to treat it to treat it no you cannot if we haven't bacterial infection you do more harm than you think we have only side effects of antibiotics if we don't treat anything we don't treat anything if we have viral infections so we must be precise in indications only bacterial infections and the second part of this definition uh, caused by sensitive microorganism what does it mean sensitive microorganism uh, we have different types of antibiotics which you must know from the pharmacology course and not all microorganisms, not all bacteria are sensitive for every antibiotics. So we must understand when we have a uh, wound of the um, surface, skin lesion, or when we have uh, UTA infection of, or um, GI infection, or Pneumonia, it's different types of antibiotics. Let's go further. Prophylactic use of antibiotics. We have three columns in this table. First of all, site. Why it's so important? Uh, it's important because some bacteria uh, prefer some body parts of our organism 